Um, so a human human perspective, especially, you know, I've always wished that too. So that's what I love about PicFu is that I've always wished, like, could I just ask 500 people if they would buy this or not? Like, I'm getting yeah. ready to buy 500 units of this. And I'm wondering how many people would look for this, find it, buy it. And, you know, we have lots of data we can look up on Amazon, but yeah. still they have to, they shop with their eyes. They finally see it if you're optimized. And then they're like, yeah. eh, do I want this one or this one? Because you know, you're probably not the first one to bring something new. We're always reinventing something. So exactly. that's really interesting. And, what and is I the guess most to that point... unique way, I think, that's the question I had was, what do you feel like the most unique way that you've seen PicFu be used before that was really interesting to you? Um, well, I guess like to you, to what you were just talking about, I think the most uh, unique and uh, powerful way you can use it is act actually comparing your image or your uh, your product against your competitors. And I think the the more intuitive thing that when people come is like, oh, I'm going to iterate on variations of my own product design or my own image design. But uh, more impactfully, especially when you're competing in a marketplace like Amazon, it's actually testing what your image or your product's going to look like against your top competitors in the space because. You could, you know, we've seen this before where people optimize, you know, so much on their individual thing and it looks great by itself, but it just doesn't hold a light to their competitors or maybe it looks too similar. It doesn't stand out, right? Like everything needs to stand out at Amazon. So um, I think that's that's probably the most important way that you can use PicFu is actually doing competitive testing. Um, you know, we all see the the rankings on on Amazon or maybe see the stats and maybe why you're losing, but you don't really understand why. And that's where when you run a PicFu test, you'll actually see the written explanations and people say like, oh, I don't like your layout or, you know, that one offers more in the bundle or whatever it is, right? Mm -hmm. You need people to articulate that. So you actually have something actionable to do. That is so interesting to me something i've wanted for so long so i cannot wait to jump in and try it even for this thing i'm, I'm thinking i already have like a running list in my head of like a b tests and i'm like oh yeah how about this how about this i have a couple of images and one of them is they're literally opposite it's like okay which one is really going to resonate because like you said mm -hmm. before i think our intentional or our intended target market or or demographic is like oh i think this is going to be for this and we design yeah. products or brands or things like that around that demographic and then come to find out we're reaching other people that we didn't reach. So that's yeah. really a way to say this. It, and there's also ways to do that as well. This one appeals to this half and this one appeals to this half. So make both then and like, yeah, okay, we'll appeal exactly. to both by diversifying our packaging even because yeah. and Amazon specifically, though, this is what's beauty about, about the online space, right? Is that like, you have so much more opportunity to um, a B test or play with different images and color schemes and packaging to where mm -hmm. at a retail store, you know, you're distributing so, so, so yeah. much bigger and you have to invest all into one and it's just kind of one and done really until you can expand. So I love that we're able to take less risk and do it a little bit smaller online to see what really is yes. working. And this takes half of that out of it. 